Hey, it's Chef Austin with Everything Kitchens. We're gonna be unboxing the Vitamix Ascent A2300. Let's go. All right, we've got everything unboxed. Let's see what was inside. So we've got this coolest thing that I thought was here, this awesome hardback recipe book. So um, flip through here, we've got recipes for mayonnaises, for ice creams, for waffles, looks about just like anything. And it's beautiful. These uh, pictures on the inside, they took their time with these. So beautifully illustrated. I'm sure the recipes are delicious. So uh, this is something you want to keep on your bookshelf. So really cool uh, that Vitamix uh, put that in there. And then the next thing we have here, this quick start guide. So this is the instructions super condensed into the quick start guide. So I know a lot of you don't read the instructions like I do. So keep this handy. And then we've got the actual instructions. So this is for uh, all the instructions, all the safety guides, all of what your blender does. So keep this safe, give it a good once over at least so you at least know how to use your blender. Highly recommend that. And then the actual physical hardware that we have here, we've got our blender jar. We've got a lid for our blender jar. And we'll put that right on here onto our blender base. And then we've got the hamper. So we're gonna explain a, a little bit more in depth about each of these guys so you know exactly what you're getting. Let's go to our 360 view. Okay, so our Vitamix is three main pieces. We've got the jar, we've got the blender base, and we've got the tamper. So we're gonna start with the jar. This jar is extremely high quality. It's uh, made of a non-BPA plastic material. It's extremely sturdy. It's not gonna crack if it just falls off your counter or anything like that. It's got a really nice easy grip handle right here. It's got a pour spout so you can pour out whatever you're blending. And then it's got a clip-on lid right here. And this clip-on lid, it's really nice. It's got a silicone gasket on the inside here, so that's gonna prevent any spillage while blending. And then these clips, uh, heavily clipped down on there, so it's very secure. And then right here, it has a stopper. And you can add in ingredients while you're blending. So if you're making like a mayonnaise or something, you need to uh, drizzle in oil or a salad dressing, you can use that. And the stopper actually doubles as a measuring cup. So it has a uh, one ounce measuring mark right there. So if you need to use this for a quick measuring tool, that's a really fun feature. So, and that's just we'll clip right back on. And then we're gonna talk quickly about this tamper. Uh, the tamper, you might be like, oh, what is this for? Beating up my blender when it's not behaving? No, it is for actually pushing food back down into the blender for very thick blends. So if you're making something uh, that's having uh, some issues blending, this can push the food back down to the blade. Also on these high powered blenders, there's an air pocket that is going to form around the blade sometimes and this tamper will pop the air pocket so the food comes back down into these metal blades. And speaking about these metal blades, these are laser cut stainless steel metal blades. And get a quick show you of them. They are stainless steel and these are safety blades. So they're not going to cut you when they touch them, they're not sharp. They're actually very blunt and they're very thick. And what that's going to do, instead of just slicing your food like a sharp knife would, that blunt side of the blade is actually going to crush the food. And that's gonna get you an even finer blend than like a standard sharp blade. And one more really cool thing about this jar is that it has self-detect technology. So down here, this base uh, will talk with the blender base right here. And it's actually going to tell the blender what type of jar I put on it. So this, uh, the A2300 comes with a 64 ounce low profile jar. So it's going to adjust the power and the maximum blend time to match this jar. And the Ascent series has different sized jars. It has a personal smoothie size jar, has a very small eight ounce uh, baby food and spice grinder jar. Uh, the base is going to adjust the power to match the jar, so you get the maximum lifespan out of all of your jars that you're using. So let's talk about the base real quick. This is a heavy piece of equipment. It feels like a car, like these switches and these knobs are very, very high quality. 
Uh, we've got our user interface right here. We're gonna go uh, a little more in depth about it. Let's spin this guy around. Uh, it's made of a very nice, high quality, shiny uh, plastic. And this does come in different colors, by the way. It doesn't just come in white. Um, and we uh, flip around here. We've got some ventilation in the back here. And you might see this uh, standard uh, three-prong power cord. It's not really that short. It has a cord wrap feature. So this actually wraps around for when you're storing this. You don't have to have the cord uh, going everywhere. So really cool that they put that in there. It's just a uh, super simple uh, thing that I wish a lot more manufacturers would do with their kitchen appliances because we have limited space in our kitchens, believe it or not. And then we'll flip it back around here. And over here, you're gonna see a power button. This is just an on off switch. Um, for your blender and then we're going to flip it back around here and we are back to the front. So uh, a little bit about the top though. Um, this has a rubberized coating right here. So this uh, is actually, you can take this off and clean it if you need to. Uh, but this is going to center the jar when you put it on there. Um, and it's nice rubberized grip so it's going to be non-slip too. Uh, and it's got a metal gear right here, so it's metal on metal. Uh, the, the socket that you install your jar into is metal, and then the uh, gear drive that is on the blender jar is also metal. So metal's gonna last a long time. A lot of cheaper blenders are just going to use plastic, and plastic is not your friend when it comes to a 2.2 horsepower motor uh, spinning with blades. So yeah, on the inside, what you can't see here, 2.2 horsepower extremely overkill for blending. You can blend just about anything that you're gonna put in this jar. It's gonna pulverize even like grains. So this, you can mill grains, you can make your own flours, you can make powdered sugar in here. Um, you can even make ice cream. So it's a really cool thing you can do uh, with your Vitamix as well. So uh, speaking of that, we'll show you how to operate that with the controls up here. So Vitamix, what I love about them, they make it really, really simple, no questions asked what these buttons do. Uh, so basically, uh, from over here, we've got a pulse button. So what this is going to do, I'm gonna press this, I'm gonna hold it down, it's gonna turn on the blender, and then when I release, it's gonna stop. So super simple pulse button. We've got the control speed right here, so speed one all the way up to speed 10. So, uh, just depending on your recipe, uh, that recipe book will tell you what speed to blend it on, how to blend it perfectly. Um, so you're the, you're the chef in the kitchen. You get to control how fast or how hard you want to blend your stuff. So and Vitamix respects stuff. And then over here, we've got a basic uh, play and stop button. So if I need to, say, blend my smoothie at speed six, I just press play and it's gonna start blending at speed six until I stop it. And while it's blending, right here, there is a LCD and it's going to turn on and it's gonna start counting up to uh, see how long my uh, food that I'm blending has been on there. And then when I'm done, I just uh, press the stop button and it'll stop, and there we go. So that's basically all there is to this. There's no hidden features or anything in here that you need to know about. It's what you see is what you get, so it's extremely simple to use, but it's an extremely powerful product. So we're gonna actually make some orange juice real quick, and we're gonna test this guy out. All right, our orange juice is all done, so I'm gonna pour me a glass. This looks really good, and it smells so citrusy. So. I love the Vitamix because I can get so much fresh fruit and vegetables into my diet. That's good stuff. That's super, super orangey. You can't beat fresh oranges in orange juice. The box stuff does not compare. And I love Vitamix because it can do so many things. It can make hot soup, it can make ice cream, it can blend anything you put in it pretty much. So. If you guys are interested in this Vitamix Ascent A2300, we have the link in the description below. You can see the whole product there. And if you want to see any more videos from us at everythingkitchens.com, check out our website, pick out a product, and we will unbox it for you. So be sure to like and subscribe to this video, and we will see you next time.